Of course, modeling for this set was made in Blender and I'm playing with Blender 2.8 now. And you know, to everybody who says Blender can't do accurate models, obviously they have never discovered the properties panel, which is, which is right here. All you have to do is press N to get to it. Or I think it's under view uh, somewhere in here. If I were writing a book again about, there it is, the toggle sidebar, on, off, cool. I found it in the menus. It's really easy to find. 2.8 has really cleaned up this interface so much, but yes. So I'm gonna really quickly just add a cube here and I'm gonna do a little trick real fast. I'm gonna go into edit mode and I'm going to move it up by one so that it's all above the, the XY plane so that when I, in the properties panel over here, change the dimensions. Now a business card, like, uh, like the one that you're going to see right here, is two inches by three and a half inches. And what's cool about Blender is all you have to do is type two, well, it's it's not inches. And I'm not gonna try and play with Blender's uh, internal sizing things. It still says meters, even though it's really millimeters. I'll fix that one day, but all I need to do is type two inches times 25.4, which is the conversion rate for inches to millimeters, like everybody knows, right? You get used to that. Uh, and I'm gonna add, you know, plus another, I don't know, two or three millimeters on there just to give it a little bit of wiggle room on the side. So that comes out to 52.8, which I can just type in now. And now it's three and a half inches tall. So 3.5 times 25.4 plus, I don't know, another two. There we go. There is the box size for, to be able to hold business cards. But that, that that we're looking at here is the internal dimensions and we want to build a box around that. So here's what I did. I, I'm going to just jump ahead in the process a little bit and pull up what I've done here is I've already, let's look at this in wireframe mode. I've already made, uh, I've made a cut in it and separated it out into two, but I've got two parts. I've got one slightly taller than the other and one slightly. So I've, I've taken it, cut it, and in edit mode, now what's really cool about Blender is that you can, in edit mode, uh, edit more than one object. If you have more than one object selected, right now I'm editing the vertices of two separate objects. I can either go into them individually and edit the vertices of them, or I can select multiples and edit the vertices together, which is what I did. I, I created one of them, did the cut, then I went to edit mode and edited them both at the same time, but that's not what I wanna show you. What I wanna show you is over here, how I use the solidify. So on this box, I wanted to have a little lip that you can uh, uh, use to nestle them in. So I needed to have a corresponding lip on the inside that it would nestle into, and there needed to be just a little bit of a gap. For 3D printing, I find about a half a millimeter is a good gap on there. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually really cool because with the uh, blender, you have the solidify and solidify takes flat objects, which have no dimension and give them dimension, which is perfect for 3D printing. It doesn't always work as expected, but in this case it worked uh, pretty good. So I just solidified this one to a 0.8 millimeter. This is gonna be my inside lip. And then I need to grab the other top and make it much thicker to a 0.2. So let's make that, oh, we got a problem. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it doesn't behave as expected. I forgot to notice my scale is all whacker doos out here for this shape because when I resized the cube, it, it just resized the scale of it. If I apply the scale, boom, now everything works because the scale is, it, it set the scale to one for everything without changing the size. It's a really neat trick and very useful in Blender to be able to play with the scale separately. But here we go. We've got, and let's go into solid view to look at this. Um, that was supposed to be local view. There we go. We've got our box with a lid on it and and a lip around it. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now, uh, let me fix the offset to this. There we go. Because I wanna talk about this second half. So for the second half here, we wanna take these two uh, which again, one is higher than the other. And we want to, we, so the lip was on the inside of the, the top part. So it's gonna be on the outside of the bottom part. 
So for the lower one, that one gets to be two millimeters thick and we get to thicken that out. But for this one, we want it to only be 0.8 millimeters thick, but we want it to be towards the edge. And how do we do that? Well, by messing with the offset. So this offset is a relative position in Blender in the Solidify modifier. So you can make it more than one. Normally it says, do you, at zero, it will offset it to be the same on both sides. The, the, the thickness of the object will go both directions. With zero, it will go only towards the inside and with one it will go towards the outside but if you make that greater than one it will keep pushing it out and that's what i did i kept playing with it and pushing it out and pushing it out until i had it exactly where i wanted it it even looks like it's not quite exactly where i want it it looks like we, if we just take it to four yeah that looks pretty darn close to what we're looking for and now we've got the lip on the outside and all we have to do now is boolean those objects together but how did i get the texture on there ha ha well let's move to the next one and now we're looking at the actual models for the actual box that i have here there's the bottom everything all boolean together there's the top everything all boolean together but in order to put the textures on here i had to do some UV editing. So, where is my UV map here? There it is. So I pull up, I pull up the Cafe Wall Illusion by Victoria Sky. I just grabbed her image, and I I made it a little bit green, but otherwise I just mapped the box. So we go into the box, we go into edit mode on it, and you select. Maybe I'll select the face right here. And that face goes there, and then this side face goes here, and then this side face goes here, and the back side face goes here. But I need to coordinate the top and the bottom. I wanted it to line up when it was put together. Well, how do we do that? Well, I told you, Blender, you can select multiple objects and edit their vertices at the same time. And in this case, we're editing their UV projection projections at the same time now i did uh, i didn't quite line the top of these up and if i were smart i would have over here in edit mode box select these scaled them all by the same y to zero and done that with the bottom here alt a is i'm not i'm not quite used to doing that yet let's see scale by y zero and then make sure that all of these line up and all of those line up. And, and I, I, sh I should have done this to begin with. I dropped the ball. There we go. So I didn't do that. And so maybe you noticed in the time lapse that when I said, oh yes, all of this layer is one and all of this layer is another, this is why one side was slightly higher than the other. But the illusion, the illusion is sound. It works 100%. You can, you can check these lines. They are indeed parallel, so I love it. This was a fun project and it was, it was absolutely great to put together. And that is how I did it in Blender. Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Making channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there. <laughs>